Welcome to the Critical Complex channel. Crypto Ed Courses. Get the knowledge you need to dominate the future. What is up my Web3 family? Welcome back to the Critical Complex channel. Today, I'm going to talk about Gala Music. Now, isn't it obvious that we are in the right place at the right time? Gala Music is making some massive moves and we're going to talk about that in this video because I'm very excited that I'm placed in the right position in crypto. Um, you know, you can see that the future of music is going to be on the blockchain because you see major players moving in that direction, people who have a lot of experience in the music industry, and we're going to touch on all of those topics in this video. So let's go ahead and talk about the Gala Music Advisory Board, which is the new topic on crypto Twitter right now. It is the hottest topic for Gala right now. There are some other things we can talk about, but right now this is the super exclusive news because the people that they have joining their advisory board have some major credits in the music industry and that just continuously lets me know that I'm in the right place. It's not just about money, it's more about moving the music industry in the right direction. So let's get into the content and talk about who we have joining the Gala Music Advisory Board. So first things first, let's jump into the big dog, the big player, Nick Adler. Nick Adler is the current manager for Snoop Dogg. Now to be the manager for Snoop Dogg, I'm pretty sure that's a heavy job to lift because Snoop Dogg is everywhere. He's doing everything. Every time you look up, um, you turn the channel two times, there's a new movie with Snoop Dogg, there's a new song with Snoop Dogg, there's Snoop Dogg being on a show or channel or something. Snoop is everywhere. So Nick Adler is someone who has a lot of experience in the music industry because Snoop Dogg is pretty much one of the biggest um, people in entertainment right now. And for Nick Adler to be his manager and to be an advisory member for the Gala Board, it means a lot because that lets me know that there's conversations going on in the background that we don't know about yet and that there's some big things coming. So uh, let's talk about the next person that is joining Gala Board. Let's talk about BT. BT is a very creative NFT and music artist. BT created the Orbs Collection, which is sort of like uh, what I would call living on the blockchain, you know, live streaming data directly from the blockchain to an NFT. BT also did some creating on the Snoop Stash Box. So I believe he did design the entire Snoop Stash Box. BT is a very important player in Web3. Um, he's done some massive things. He's made some very great accomplishments. And right here you can see I'm following him. He's Grammy nominated uh, trans pioneer and a software designer, uh, film composer. He holds a lot of titles and um, it's just very impressive to see that he is still working with Gala and he's now on the advisory board. Uh, another very interesting person that I see on the Gala Advisory Board is DJ FN. And I think that's very interesting because later on in this video, I'm going to share a clip with you uh, from a few months back when Snoop Dogg was actually on Drink Champs, which is the show that DJ FN is usually hosting. Um, and, and Snoop Dogg mentioned Gala Games and how he's going to be moving Death Row Records over to Gala Games. I'm going to share that with you in a second, but that's who DJ FN is. And, um, you know, just connecting the dots that maybe that day, right after that, uh, that, that round table that they had at Drink Champs, maybe that day DJ FN was like, what is Gala Games? And maybe he learned about it that day. And so I think it's very interesting that that interview happened and it seemed as if Snoop was telling them something new and then DJ FN probably went like, hey, what is this? And once he learned, he understood that yes, this is the future. All right, last and definitely not least, we're gonna talk about Layla Steinberg, who managed one of the world's most legendary and well-known hip hop artist, Tupac Shakur. She is the original manager for Tupac Shakur. 
She's the manager who helped him actually launch his career. So she has a lot of experience in the music industry. So this partnership means a whole lot. The fact that you have four musical power players that are joining the Gala Music Advisory Board says a lot. It lets me know that I'm definitely in the right place. So I'm glad to be one of the people who are covering this project and the one of the people who are actually involved in the community and actually hold music NFTs on the Gala uh, network because I believe that the value of these things will inevitably increase once more people come in. And you know, music is something that's infinite. It lives so long and people uh, continuously wanna hear the same music over and over. And so that's what makes the earning mechanism so powerful for music. And so I do believe that this is a very powerful move. The creation of our advisory board is an exciting next step in Gala Music's growth, said Brandon Tatum, VP and Global Head of Music Business at Gala Music. We look forward to leveraging the knowledge and industry specific wisdom of these entertainment industry experts to help guide the Gala team on its high level vision and initiatives to increase our chances of sustainable success. Earlier this year, Snoop Dogg confirmed that Gala Music will be Death Row's exclusive partner in the metaverse. Death Row may even use the platform to launch NFTs tied to iconic early records from the back catalog. What we plan on doing is giving people access to buying and trading some of these classic records that was the foundation of Death Row. Snoop Dogg said in an interview with Gala in April. And along these lines, get some of these new records from emerging artists like October London. Gala Music has already played host to Snoop Dogg's stash box NFT drop, linked to his album Back on Death Row, which reportedly grossed over $50 million. The platform has also partnered with Steve Aoki, Kings of Leon, and newcomers like Jane Hancock. So remember when I said that DJ FN was the host of a show called Drink Champs and he had Snoop Dogg on as a guest a few months ago. So here's that video back in April of 2022 and Snoop Dogg was just on the show right after he bought Death Row Records and he partnered with Gala Music. So here's that video clip. I'm going to play this and let you hear what Snoop Dogg says iTunes, Apple, All Spotify, bata ba bata ba bata ba. Fuck out of here. Mm, Freeze. I'm about to sound death row. Freeze. Now watch this. So take the death row catalog to Gala Games, the company that I fuck with in the metaverse. This was back in April when Snoop Dogg made that comment on Drink Champs, and now here we are in October, and we see that DJ FN is joining the advisory board for Gala. So that lets me know that maybe in this time frame, maybe actually this day, uh, DJ FN actually learned about Gala. Maybe that conversation happened right after this meeting. So um, I think it's very interesting, you know, just connecting the dots and trying to see, you know, what actually happened in history and talking about, you know, what these partnerships actually mean, because, you know, um, he obviously piqued DJ FN's interest with that comment. And so now that you have legendary hip hop artists like Snoop Dogg moving into Web3, you know, you see Eminem uh, moving in the same direction. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw Eminem do something with Gala Music because, you know, he's connected to Snoop and, you know, that's what's happening. They realize that this is a better way. And, you know, these are very passionate people. You have to understand that Snoop Dogg and Eminem have a lot of history in um, the music industry. And so they've been through the ups and downs. They understand the game. They understand everything about it. And so for these artists to be like gearing so hard into Web3 and into the music NFT space, it just makes a clear, a more clear path for me. One more topic we can talk about is the new artists that have been launching on Gala Music. So almost every other day, there's two or three new artists launching on Gala Music. We have OK Kenji, Rhythm, Clash. We have Louis King, Alexander Tate, Jack, 
Triz, Gabriel, Royal, Hefe, and also Lucas Prav. And then we have a tape by October London. So there's a lot of NFTs here, but all of these NFTs are sold out. All the gala artists that are launching are selling out almost the same day that they launch. So it's obvious that the gala community is loving these artists and is loving the music that is being launched on gala. All these different cultures and all these different genres. It just gets me even more excited about what gala has planned for the community. Also, we know that Monia Ashibi is going to be launching with Gala Music. You can see this tweet by Taco. He says, for the bucks, I just met with Monia Ashibi. She's cooler than you think. And Sarah replies with a GIF that looks very excited about this partnership. And so there's been a lot of back and forth on Twitter between Sarah Buxton and Monia. So I'm very excited to see this launch happening. So you guys uh, check out Monia Ashibi. She has an EP out right now. You can check her out. This is her Twitter handle. She's gonna be a new artist launching with Gala Music. This is further confirmation that we are in the right place at the right time. So I would just recommend that you stay tuned to what Gala is doing, stay tuned in because there's so much more that could happen and we're just at the beginning phases of things i believe that phase three of gala music is about to begin and around that time i'm going to reach out to someone at gala and try to get an interview on my channel so we can talk about the progress and talk about um maybe they'll talk about what they have planned next i don't know but i'm definitely going to try to get another interview on my channel about gala music so if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to this channel it will help us out and leave a comment in the comment section and that will also help out the algorithm and I'll see you guys in the next video